Well, that's a good start. Uh, <laughs> hello, everybody. It's been a while, but we are back with some Let's Play World of Warcraft Ascension. Back to the roots, basically. And this will be a standard Let's Play again on the Softcore server this time around. So I can also stream from time to time. I don't know, some time passed. And yeah, I really wanted to play some more World of Warcraft again, especially like on the classes realm. Um, so here we are. This will be a standard build for the first three levels, I think, just to get things going, just to get back into the game. Um, again, like uh, I repeat myself here, but it's been a while. And um, I, I will have to see if everything still works the same way as I remember it. If some things change, and a lot of things change actually, I'm pretty aware of that. But not really what exactly and yeah, how it will affect the game. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just kill some more wolves. I will cut around, as usual, and uh, show some highlights and just ramble along my way. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for sticking around after all this time, and have a good time. Okay, to uh, get things going, of course, make sure to allocate your stats. Really important stuff. Gives you a slight edge at the beginning. Uh, this didn't change so far. One thing that changes is that shoot you have to actually click now if you don't have autocast. I think back in the day you just could still shoot like with right click. Um, it's a bit more manual I guess but nothing groundbreaking. About my first skill I'm still not too sure it will probably just be like sinister strike for the first three levels. Um, and like the rotation I really I shouldn't even shoot like if I remembered correctly the rotation should just revolve around arcane bolt for the first three levels and uh, some shots and then yeah, enemy should be down already so yeah here you can see it that apparently didn't change all right nice and easy for the first three levels like really those basic abilities are more than enough i think i really will go with my trusty elf or imp <laughs> um demonology it should be and then around here yeah cookie cutter stuff but let's just go for that. Let's see if it still is broken as it used to be, because this guy back in the day basically was absolutely mandatory for a lot of builds. I'm a charge in my fireball, and I'm like, don't do it, Jimmy. He's like, I'm a fire in my fireball. Damage seems fine on him, but that's not really the main point why we are getting this guy. There are a bunch of like other abilities later on. He will be useful for, and to be honest, I, I never saw those remodeled Women's. I'm not too sure what to think of it. They look kind of cool to be honest, but also a bit weird. But yeah, I like those horns. Endless, I think that's uh, what it's called in English. Um, yeah, looks pretty neat to be honest. I kind of like it. If you decide to go with a nymph, always make sort of a macro. It's called pet attack and then, well, do the stuff you want to do. In my case, it's cast a cane bolt for the first few minutes because then the pet already attacks and if you don't do it, like it only attacks after the third hit occurs. So yeah, it's a slight DPS increase and basically you always want to do that no matter if you are like a hunter build or warlock, maybe even a mage with a water elemental. That's just stuff you want to do. It's a classless server, so pick up all that stuff. Some bonus reputation, some bonus experience, it never hurts. I'm going to be frank with you, I really did not like uh, read up on any new builds or like cookie cutter stuff that's happening in the scene <laughs> of sorts. Um, this is really just jumping in the cold, cold water again after a long break. Uh, I bet there's a bunch of stuff if you're interested, a bunch of stuff on Tommy Runes and Mr. Game Master Reviews channel. Um, great guys, if you would like to know anything about Ascension, I probably will link them somewhere around here, like in the description, but I'm pretty sure that if you know this channel, then you already know the other two guys, and um, yeah, make sure to check them out. There should be some interesting Ascension content on there. So I probably should have done a better job explaining like why I'm starting new here and what happened, if you are really not familiar with anything that happened to Ascension, but basically a new let's say softcore server opened and uh, that means no item loss and uh, no open world pvp as far as i'm concerned so uh, if you if that was something that really held you away from playing here then definitely check out the server now 
Um, it's a lot more fun that way if you really don't want to get frustrated and don't want to waste your time grinding a bunch of stuff and then just to lose it in a bunch of seconds of getting ganked. Um, and also always be aware that this is still open beta, so this is still not a release of any sorts, like it's still in development and it also means of course, well, you're going to lose all your progress once the uh, server hits live. So yeah, just test a few things out. I think now is a great time to check out the server just because like the frustration level is a lot lower. Um, I think there was like a very toxic environment in the last few months of the hardcore server because there were a bunch of established guilds who basically just made a living out of ganking low level people and like, well, bribing them into giving them money just to not get ganked or like to get protected. There were some really interesting, let's say, meta games that were going on. Um, I think that is also something that makes the server really nice. Like just this whole, um, like how things will develop, like certain scenarios, certain uh, interactions that are going to spin out of control and uh, are giving this whole thing a completely new touch. And um, yeah, that, that's what makes the server really special to me as well. But yeah, with all the um, open PvP and all of that stuff gone, I guess unfortunately that also is a bit gone from the, well, softcore realm, but you can really just focus on uh, PvE a bit more here, like on building your character, really just playing PvE-wise against the environment, not really that PvP focused. And even if you enjoy PvP, then just go Battlegrounds, like that's always an option. Um, and I think also like World vs. Alliance is still a thing, so yeah, you just don't lose that many items or like no items at all, which is great if you really are just in for the fun. Um, again, there are a bunch of things that might be missing because of that, like in terms of risk and high reward and also a certain thrill, you know, and like all those dynamics, uh, dynamics I was talking about, sorry. But, well, it is what it is. And to be a frank, after playing on the hardcore realm for like months, this is a blessing. This is just really, really nice. And I'm going to enjoy myself a bit here, I think. I just found a chest and if we are lucky, we might get like a two-hander here. And whoa, <laughs> indeed, that's really nice. That means for sure we are going to go with a sinister strike for the first three levels here. Okay, short update while I'm collecting a bunch of Middle East Harvest here. Um, I just read that Sinister Strike was nerfed, but not really to the extent that I'm not going to pick it. It's around uh, 70 per f sorry, 70% uh, damage right now for two hand. And I think it's still pretty good, especially with such a good weapon for the early game. So I'm going to pick it, but there are also a bunch of other changes that I would like to go over. And I think I can since I have to move a bit here. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, I was in the general tab, was just browsing around and then I saw that apparently a bunch of like general abilities, I think this is a great change, actually require ability points. Um, this was always something that was picked already by default, like you didn't have to spend anything there and it was just like something that your character had as a mandatory thing. Uh, but now you can actually choose and uh, I like this one really well here, like the spell mastery. So that certain things actually trigger when you have certain items equipped. Like for example, if you have a staff, then well, you get more spell haste. It's actually great. I like that a lot. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Some of them cost like one, some of them cost like two ability essences. But um, so yeah, to show you once more what I mean with the with the ability right here. Since the strike 70 per <laughs> sorry 75%. If a two-hander is equipped, still, I think great skill for the early levels, especially if you are lucky and get a good uh, green weapon early on. So uh, yeah, that's what we are going to go with. Uh, I still need level 5 though to wear it, so I, I can wait a bit, I guess, um, to sell a bunch of stuff here and I'll see you guys in a minute. I really have to say, like, from what I've seen so far, this server is looking great. A lot of little balancing changes, it just it feels a lot more polished. It's hard to describe at certain areas, but it feels very nice. Um, it might be because I'm like 
bit out of the loop and uh, it's been so long since I've been here on the server and uh, so like the difference like between the states of the server are very very uh, like have a very strong impression on me so to speak um, but yeah huge thanks to the developers uh, it feels very polished it feels just a lot better for some reason yeah I like it I like it a lot also thanks to all the testers um, who've been on the server for so long and who helped to improve this server day in day um, yeah I'm looking very much forward to this like I think this has some huge potential uh, especially in terms of creativity and all the little things they are adding along the way and also the things that didn't work out so well and they are going to cut out like for example this whole hunger bar thing the hunger system um, it might be a thing on the extreme hardcore server I'm not too sure yet but for now I'm pretty glad that they took it out um, so yeah, this is uh, this feels good. I, I really like and enjoy playing this again. It also seems to show like in terms of popularity. Like I've I've not been too much to Reddit lately <laughs> because it's a toxic waste pool. But like still, um, like especially in the awakening phase when it still was like pay to play and all that stuff. I really don't want to get to that too much here. But it seems like this phase is left behind now and also uh, Reddit seems to have like forgotten it. Um, I never had a big issue with it in the first place, but like Reddit is just... Well, it's, it, it, it is... It, sorry, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, things are looking better now for the server and uh, for its popularity and also like the population itself seems to grow and seems kind of healthy right now for open beta server especially since like it's they kind of split their population since like there's a high risk and like a soft core server now and for that it's going pretty good i would say and I, again i can't just repeat myself here i really hope that things are going to pick up for the server and uh, that more and more people are going to play it maybe i can uh, well interest you into just checking it out at least it's great fun like obviously i'm uh, uh, like a bit more used to the concept now like i'm not as hyped as i used to be but like i've been playing on the server for a lot now and uh, trying out a bunch of stuff already so uh, yeah i mean unless there are not some huge changes and some incredible innovations then uh, obviously this is just same good stuff as usual for me personally but I remember when I like locked back in uh, especially since it wasn't that e as easy to get a key back in the day um, this was just huge this was a lot of fun and maybe maybe you just want to try it out for yourself all right and I think we're giving some small feedback here some first impressions or like yeah I guess you can still call it first impressions on the software server on Ascension WoW. I think this is a good time to stop the video for now, like a nice little start for a new journey here. Sorry that we are back at killing boars and wolves, but um, yeah, it's a new server and this is really just meant to just maybe play along while you are playing something or like just want to hear me ramble about a bunch of stuff, but my impressions about my take on the server. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that. If you did, please uh, leave a rating, it would help me out a lot and I know that well some people are still actually <laughs> are here to uh, well hear me say a bunch of stuff. So um, if that's the case I will try to continue with this a lot more frequent than I did in the past. Um, thanks for sticking around again, like if you are still watching this then huge thanks to you and uh, have a great day. Uh, also check out the server. It's a lot of fun and I see you guys next time. Take care.